I am the faculty director of two programs uh, at MIT Executive Education. One program is uh, Macroeconomics for uh, Managers, and the other program is Dynamics uh, of Globalization. These two programs complement each other, and, uh, and uh, it is always, uh, we always advise them uh, uh, to take the two courses, although you can take the courses separately. The idea of these two courses is to actually have an economist, a so so social scientist, and a political scientist view of globalization and how the economy works. Uh, the course on macroeconomics has four sections and is devoted mostly to understand how an economy in particular works. And in this, this course is entirely taught by me. And uh, what we do is to have four sections in that course. First, we study how central banks work. Uh, second, we study how financial sectors and financial crisis occur. Third, uh, how and why countries trade and why trade is a source of conflict. And lastly, how uh, is the best uh, way to make uh, offshoring decisions and investment internationally. What are the ingredients that have to be considered? Um, this is an economist view of the world in the sense that uh, we will devote a lot of attention to understand actually how central banks work, uh, what are the forms of operations, why they are so successful, why they are so influential. So we will also understand why financial crises occur, how banks actually work, how the regulatory environment interacts with that. And, um, and in fact, why, for example, financial crises propagate from one country to the other, which is one of my areas of, uh, of research. We will also understand, for example, why countries trade with each other and why this is such an important source of conflict. Uh, today in the world, uh, with the conflict is between United States and China. If you look at 10 years uh, back, the conflicts were between US and Japan. And, and we have had conflicts with the US and Europe and uh, genetically modified food for a very long time. So. Uh, sources of conflict in trade are present all the time. It's very important to understand where those sources uh, come about and, uh, and why they occur. Uh, th we have some conflict today. I, I can assure you 10 years from now we will have conflict also. It will be different countries, different names, but uh, conflict will, will arise. It's a natural aspect of, of trading. And lastly, we, in that course, we understand or devote time to understand how uh, in the, uh, companies should make decisions of offshoring, where to put a plant, where to set up a service, uh, from where you should outsource uh, um, goods uh, that intermediate goods, from which uh, country you should be serving goods, etc. So that's the first course in, 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 in macroeconomics for managers. The second course is dynamics of globalization. And what we do in that course is to look at the same questions, but now from a different perspective. So uh, Rick Locke is a political scientist, so he's going to be looking at the issues of how institutions will interact with, uh, with uh, different uh, aspects of globalization, how that will affect labor standards, how companies distribute labor and uh, practices, etc. cetera. Uh, Yasheng Huan has a social scientist view of the same uh, uh, work. He wants to understand, for example, is FDI in China good or bad for the Chinese? Has this been good or bad uh, for the investors? Has this been good or bad uh, for the workers or the managers who has benefited from that process of growth, etc.? And in that course, for example, what I teach is uh, the economist aspect of, gr of growth. Uh, why countries grow, why rich countries are rich, why poor countries are poor, and try to understand, you know, what are the type of institutions, rules, what are the type of uh, things that uh, countries can be implement uh, in order to achieve growth? Um, uh, in all these courses, we pay a sp a very particular attention to the environment, for example, uh, how this collides with environmental issues, uh, how, for example, solving poverty in a country might have an imp a negative impact on the environment on that country, so will affect a different individual, supply of water, supply of food. Uh, so in general, what we have in that course is to have a very uh, global view and that encompasses economic, social, and political issues. Um, the two courses complement tremendously each other. Uh, uh, we used to have the courses in a different executive program at MIT that were part of this one single program. We have decided that it's better uh, for uh, our constituency, uh, our participants, to take the courses separately, uh, where you can decide when to take the courses. Uh, but I actually think that it's very useful and, uh, and good to take them together. I think that anyone that is, uh, in executive, uh, is an executive in a company making decisions internationally or dealing with international clients or international supply chain will benefit tremendously from this course. Um, and uh, we have been teaching this uh, for more than 12 years. So uh, we do know um, um, how useful this has become to other participants in the past, and I hope that uh, I can uh, see you in these courses. I know this will be very useful for you, and we are very excited to be offering this course now in uh, two parts.